everyone. Today we will talk about digital storytelling and specifically how it is related to your brand and how you can use storytelling and digital storytelling for your own business. So what, starting from the beginning, what is storytelling? Storytelling is the art of conveying a narrative through spoken words, written text, visual imagery, or any combination thereof. It's a fundamental aspect of human communication, deeply rooted in cultures across the globe since ancient times. At its core, storytelling involves the structured presentation of characters, events, and themes to engage and captivate an audience. So how to create an effective storytelling? The effective storytelling is not merely about relying on facts or events. So it's not just to list a series of events. It's about crafting a compelling experience that resonates with the audience emotionally and intellectually. A well-told story can evoke empathy, provoke thoughts, inspire action, or simply entertain. It has the power to transport listeners or readers to different words, allowing them to experience the perspective of diverse characters and explore complex ideas. So you always have to think about the whole environment, the whole world you are um, using for your story. So which are the key elements? Uh, the key elements of a storytelling include plot, characters, setting, conflict and resolution process. These elements work together to create tension, build suspense, and uh, drive the narrative forward. Additionally, the use of language, imagery, pacing, and tone significantly influences the impact of a story. So how to write meaningful, meaningful stories? In today's world, storytelling is utilized across various mediums and platforms, including literature, film, theater, advertising, marketing, and digital media. So this is why we are looking today at storytelling, because it's an activity that can help you in many situations of your uh, business career. It serves diverse purposes from preserving a cultural heritage to promoting products and ideas. So you can use uh, storytelling uh, again in several uh, um, working sectors. So regardless of the context, storytelling remains a powerful tool for connecting with others, sharing experiences, and shaping understanding of the world around us. So if you learn how to create an uh, emotional story, effective story through a good um, application of digital storytelling, you will have the possibility to engage people in your business. But Let's do uh, now a step forward and let's discover how to create an effective story. So first of all, you have to select a topic and you can start from a personal narrative, think about important events in your own life. Then consider your interest in sharing this story your ability to tell the story in an effective way and your capacity to reflect on what you learn from that experience. There should be a clear beginning, a central part, and then an end that can uh, be communicated for this assignment. So this story should be easily presented in primarily chronological order. So the first step is to put the events, to choose the events you want to tell, and then to put them in a chronological order. And never forget uh, to put a conflict and a resolution into your story. Then you have to think about the context. 
So after you select your topic, it is important to determine what information is needed for the reader to understand your story. So there are three main things, the settings, the characters, and the stakes and circumstances. Knowing these elements will allow your reader to fully envision and understand your story. Again, setting, characters, and circumstances. Once you have selected a topic and, and have considered what information needs to be included, now it's time to determine the plot. What is the plot? The plot is how you create a sense of progression in your story. So remember, first you have to decide a topic and then to fix the events that you want uh, to describe in chronological order. The plot is something different. The plot is uh, the chronological order in which you will present your events. So when determining a plot, decide when to start the story, when to reveal information and how to wrap up the story. So you can have the first part, the second, the middle and the end but you can decide to start from the end or from the middle. Okay, that's the main differences between the chronological order of your story and the plot. Making these decisions before you start to write creates a roadmap for you and helps you create a more cohesive story. And then another important aspect is that you have to remember to speak about the whole five senses. So sensory details. As you create and write your story, remember to engage the reader's five senses. Remember that you have to describe the whole environment of your story. So we have sights, describe the visual using the vivid details, hearing, incorporate important sounds, taste, describe flowers to immerse your reader, smell, explore sentence uh, and uh, sense relevant to the setting, <clears throat> touch, to explain the textures, temperature, and sensations. So after you have shared the events of your story, it is time now to reflect on what you have learned from the event. So how to conclude your story. The lesson learned from the story uh, you described before. So the lesson needs to be able to apply it outside of your story, which is called an abstract lesson or abstract message. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, you can make your lesson or your message too specific for the events, but uh, that's, uh, that's not the correct way. You have to think about uh, uh, your lesson in a broader context, something that can be applied also to other examples. So, for example, here we put a, a short uh, example of lesson that you can use. Um, this specific example is about an embarrassing moment, uh, sleeping on ice in front of a lot of people. So the final lesson could be, although embarrassing moments can be painful, a person can use the situation to show self-compassion and perseverance. So the lesson would not be about being careful walking on ice. That's what I mean. So as we began to write our own personal narrative, use these steps and strategies to engage your reader and strengthen your writing. But now let's go to the digital storytelling. So uh, what information and communication technology can do for uh, making us more um, confident with uh, storytelling. So digital storytelling is a modern form of narrative expression that combines traditional storytelling techniques that we saw before with digital media tools and technology. It involves creating and sharing stories using digital platforms such as websites, social media, podcasts, videos, animations, and interactive applications. Digital storytelling individuals or groups use various multimedia elements like text, images, audio, video, and graphics to convey their narratives. These stories can range from personal and codes 
and historical accounts to educational content and marketing campaigns. This is again to say that you can use digital storytelling in many different aspects of your job. Digital storytelling often allows for greater creativity and interactivity, enabling storytellers to engage their audience in immersive and dynamic ways. So it's more about the tools and the methods you will use to tell your story. So one of the key features of digital storytelling is its accessibility and potential for widespread distribution. With the advent of internet and social media, digital story can reach a global audience quickly and easily. Additionally, digital tools provide opportunities for collaboration, allowing multiple creators to contribute to a single story or project remotely. Overall, digital storytelling empowers individuals and organizations to share their messages, experiences, and perspectives in innovative and impactful ways, leveraging the power of technology to connect with audiences across the world. 